Hello friends, it's Jim over here. Today we are going to talk about destinations. Now, Orlando is probably the tourist capital of the world. So for people who live here in Orlando, we are looking for locations to go elsewhere to find our entertainment. And uh, if you're like me, I tend to lean towards the uh, more unusual, uh, unique type places. And uh, one of those places is in, I'm probably going to pronounce this incorrectly, Fonapah, Nevada. And it is the Clown Motel. It is known as probably the scariest motel in the United States. And it is so unique and unusual and odd. <laughs> and the first time I saw it years ago, I said, this would be the perfect location to make a horror movie. And then somebody beat me to it and made a horror movie there called Clown Motel. But anyway, if you have not heard of this location, it's fantastic. Take a look. The Clown Motel in Tonopah, Nevada boasts what's got to be the largest private collection of clown figurines and memorabilia under the sun. And if the creepy clown theme, which stretches beyond the lobby and into each room isn't enough to spook you, the added bonus of some resident ghosts linking over nightly from the cemetery next door might just be the ticket. Now, even if you don't stay the night, you can drop by the lobby and get drowned in clowns. Everywhere there are clowns. And get some unique souvenirs from the little mini gift shop in the corner. Aside from the name of the property and the flashing bulb marquee out front, what makes Clown Motel live up to its name? It's a collection of more than 2,000 clown figurines from all corners of the globe. It all started in 1985 when Leona and Leroy David built this motel in memory of their father, Clarence David, a clown lover who left a collection of 150 clowns in his home. The David siblings decided to use them as the theme and focal point of their motel in memory of their father. Guests will come face to face with thousands of clowns adorning the shelves of the motel lobby at check-in and in all 31 rooms. It features custom art pieces, figurines, and some of the rooms even have clown versions of your favorite horror characters, such as Michael Myers from Halloween or Reagan from The Exorcist. And, uh, you know, these rooms are 108, 111, 210, and 214. So if you're looking for a possible otherworldly, spooky, paranormal experience, you may want to ask for one of those four rooms. Now, spirited or not, any room you book will come complete with a TV, a fridge, a microwave, AC, and heat. Now, another cool thing about this motel is it's situated directly next to the historic Old Tonopah Cemetery. And this entombs many of Tonopah's earliest silver mine workers who died in a tragic mining accident the Belmont Mine Fire of 1911. Now, along with its obvious clown theme, the Clown Motel has been named America's scariest motel due to its proximity of the cemetery, as well as all the creepy clowns and paranormal activity that surrounds the motel. It's located exactly between Reno and Las Vegas, so if you're visiting those two cities, you can pop on over there, and it's at the north end of Tonopah. It's a desert town brimming with mining history and steeped in stories. They've got Wi-Fi, complimentary lobby coffee. There are barbecue grills you can use on the patio. Pets are welcome, and it fills up pretty quickly because of the history, the creepiness, and all the paranormal activity that surrounds it. Now, I got a few souvenirs from there. I love my hat. And when I got the hat, I was also given uh, these other cool little souvenirs that they just went, you know, hey, take these. <laughs> and uh, it's it's great. It's a, it's a unique location, a creepy location. And uh, hey, if you're in Nevada, it's a must-see. That's the Clown Motel. There you go. Odd, unique, unusual, right? So... <laughs> That is a destination. If you are looking to get away from Orlando for a little bit, away from anywhere, and do something different, Clown Motel, Tonopah, Nevada. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, 
click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.